Welcome back everybody. In today's video we'll be taking a look at Taco Terry and this is actually the arrest video that he was convicted for. We're talking about the more serious conviction where he got three years of jail all but suspended was 60 days so he is spending 60 days at home in home confinement but it turns out that when I talked about the guilty verdict I wasn't even familiar with these arrest videos because Taco Terry has so many of them and this one was a little while back. We never covered it on the channel and I thought it would be a great idea to take a look at what happened and what did he do to get himself convicted. With that being said, enjoy the video. Oh, my bad. I called the wrong number, boss. I'm sorry. All right, bye bye. Oh, hey, hello. Can I get some help out here? What's up? Oh, boss, what's going on? So the other day I got the uh, vehicle release form from you. Yeah. Um, you guys did not tell me that you took the tags off my car. So I felt real stupid when I got over there and paid for it. And then the guy was like, all right, cool. So you got the tags and everything for it? And then I was like, no, I don't. Because hmm. somebody obviously took them off of there. Well, By somebody, the I mean. Off? Huh? Do you know why the tags were taken off? No, I don't. I don't even know why my car was taken in the first place, sir. I don't even know why this gentleman came on a private property and stole my vehicle in the first okay, we're place. Not gonna get told. We're gonna talk about your tags right now. Where are yeah, we, no, we are. Absolutely. The okay. tags were on the vehicle that he came on a private property and stole. Can you at least own up to what right you had to run my tags in the first place, sir? Or why you said that it was on district court property when it was not on district court property? So this is actually a video from the beginning of Taco Terry's frauding journey. And you can tell that right away he was a piece of shit. He didn't learn that with experience as he did more fraud. It's right off the bat he was exactly like that. Just condescending, a little smart ass with a bunch of attitude. Anyways, at least for the moment being, Taco Terry is no longer a danger to anyone. He's not going to harass any more secretaries because he's in home confinement. Well, that's the paperwork says. No, you better check it. Yeah, it says car was on district court. Oh, the letter's at home. I'll make sure I bring it. Oh, can I get a copy of that? I, I don't actually. This is a if vehicle you release. Copy, like I, yesterday, I know. Yeah, I gotta go online. Yep, okay. I'm doing that. Right, good, good. I got you. Yep, I, I got, got this. The easy way to do it without yep. anybody getting involved to give you any issues. Yeah, that's the proper way of doing it. Yeah. Now, as far as why the tags were taken, I have no clue. Tags had to pick up more than oh. like his insurance was his insurance violations oh. from 2020. He picked up the tags in 2021, so that was the reason why the tags were taken. And what the NBA put that pick up on your car? Want the, any police officer, any well, district I, 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 had, take them. I had been pulled over inch 121, so yeah. if there was a pickup order, then they must have missed it somehow. But it, either way, chance, either way, I have I had valid insurance it, it, on my car when he picked it up. So. I understand it, but a pickup order and insurance are two different things. Uh -huh. Now, it's a possible chance they may have missed it, but if NVA or MSP, because they both have to deal with all Maryland State Police yeah, is the one that pulled if, it over. Yeah, if yep. they a pickup one on it. Mm -hmm. I don't care what agency you work for, they have to be taken. Yep, MSP, MSP is the ones that pulled me over. They okay. pulled me over in, let's say, okay. August. Let's say August. Yeah. Let's NBA, say August. Let me explain to you. NBA, NBA is going Sir, you tried to explain to me that I need to be a thousand feet from a courthouse and you could trespass me even though I hadn't committed a crime. Title 18, Section 242 says I can't be trespassed unless I committed a crime. I just don't need him to tell me anything, sir. He's already violated my rights enough. I don't need him to tell me anything. We've dealt with all your business, sir. Any further business you need to take care of, do it by email. If you want a copy of a police report or anything else, do it by email. As of right now, I am giving you the option to leave. You're being trespassed. If you come back... Well, hold on. You just said you're giving me the option. You you're giving me That's the it. option to leave, sir. Yes, Terry. He's giving you the option to leave. You can leave voluntarily or you can stay and then get arrested. Let's find out which one you're going to choose. 
Okay. Then you can even leave. So, so you're asking. For, so what crime am I committing right now by being here? I'm telling you now to leave. You're state being trespassed. This is state property. So if okay. you don't leave, you're going to be arrested. But it's still public, sir. It's still open. No, sir, first off, I'm first. First off, I'm putting my stuff in my thing so I can leave. So stop threatening to arrest me and put no, your handcuffs I'm away. Happy. Put your goddamn handcuffs sir, away and do not act like that. Five, first six, off, there's six, not, six, sir. Six, I'm, I, there's not a, a time limit on me putting my paperwork in my thing, sir. I'm putting my paperwork away, sir. If you want to arrest me and get another uh, lawsuit filed on you, like I just filed at the county attorney's office, you go ahead and be my guest, Chadwick. But do not ever threaten to arrest me for being on public property. This, this is open to the public, sir. Last time. Can I see your supervisor? Can you call I your supervisor? supervisor? No, you obviously have a captain. Please call your supervisor down here, sir. I'm willfully walking out because I don't want you to arrest me, but I want you to get your supervisor down here, sir. I'm requesting a supervisor. I'm requesting a supervisor, sir. I'm requesting a supervisor, sir. You didn't say this is state property? Yeah, it's state property and it's open to the public, dumbass. Can you get your supervisor now, sir? No, sir, this is a public... Sir, you're being trespassed. For, okay, uh, under, uh, for what crime, sir? Title 18, section 242 says I have to commit a crime. No, I have to commit a crime. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime to trespass me, sir. Yes, I did have business. I'm asking to speak to your supervisor, sir. I'm asking you to speak to your supervisor, sir. You, uh, there's somebody's obviously above you, sir. Sir, you're, can, you, can you educate him, sir? Can you please explain to him? I'm his supervisor, so he can't explain it. Do you not know, like, do you guys not know the... Taco Boy, nobody's going to get educated besides you. You got trespassed. I assume you're going to stay like a moron, and that's why you're going to get arrested and convicted. Man, this guy is such a loser when it comes to defending himself. He pled not guilty for three separate cases, and he was found guilty on all three of them. Every time he was like, oh, I have nothing to worry about. I'm going to be fine guilty this guy is a professional idiot and he'll have a good amount of time in jail once he breaks his probation because obviously he's going to break it this guy cannot help himself but committing crimes so i give him maybe three to four weeks after he gets released from home confinement until he breaks his probation law i'm just confused Sir, here once you've been told that you're trespassed if you do not leave you will be arrested have a nice day sir Cocker v. California, 1971, if you think my language is offensive, sir. Fucking dumbass. You're gonna get yourself in real big trouble, buddy, I'm telling you. You're gonna get yourself in real big fucking trouble, buddy. You can't say, oh, this is state property, yeah. It's state property, and that lobby's open to the public, you dumb son of a bitch. You gonna try to tell me this sidewalk out here is state property now too, buddy? You, you gonna try to tell me this is state property now too? Oh, is this somehow state property out here now on this sidewalk? So before Taco Terry was doing some sexual advances to the officers, now he's actually calling them the homophobic slur with the bundle of sticks. So I do have to take that out of the video. It seems like he's all over the place. And I honestly am not surprised because we've seen Taco Terry be very homophobic, very racist before. He called a black woman Count Chocula. This guy is a complete piece of trash. Like it doesn't get worse than this guy. His own family can't stand him. They don't want to be around him. And honestly, I don't blame them one bit. You get joy out of this, Chadwick? You get joy out of this? You get joy out of acting like a Title 18, Section 242 says, I cannot be trespassed on public property without committing a crime, sir. Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime? You just unlawfully removed me with threat of trespass, but you can't reasonably articulate that I committed any crime. Now he's gonna walk away. Don't think I won't be back tomorrow morning, you dumb son of a bitch. You bald head motherfucker.
You might want to check the GIS survey, buddy. How many think you can fit in your mouth, Chadwick? You're gonna cost the taxpayers a lot of money, Chadwick. It's sad. It's very sad. You're a disgrace to this department and this state. You're a disgrace to that badge and the oath you took to swore to protect and serve the public. Somewhere along the lines you forgot your title and your duty, sir. You're a public servant. You're not above me, sir. I've already been given by permission. I've been given permission by Captain Labs to be in that lobby and film, sir. I have business, legal business in there, actually. You gonna get yourself in trouble. Make sure you're down here tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, Chadwick. We'll see how much you can smile then, buddy. We'll see how cool you think you are then. So he's saying that Officer Chadwick will cost the taxpayers a lot of money. But in fact, it's Terry that is costing the taxpayers money by getting arrested and then they have to go through a trial. They have to pay for his public defender. You know, he's costing us a lot of money. So at least he was found guilty. So he'll have to pay some fines to alleviate some of that cost. But still, this guy's a massive mooch of society. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Um, I, I got an incident going on over here at the DGS Capitol Police Building where I'm being threatened to be arrested for uh, being on public property. Can you guys come down here and explain to them that this is public property and I have the right to be on public property? Okay, what property are you on? Well, uh, according to him, it's state property, but either way, it's still public and it's open to the public. But yeah, I'm down okay, here at 29 St. John's Drive. Okay, you're on St. John's College? No, I'm on 29 St. John's Drive, right off of Calvert Street. To arrest you? Uh, some dumbass uh, lieutenant who doesn't apparently know the law and doesn't want me in the public lobby okay, of this police well, if department. You're on state property that is not handled by the city of Annapolis. Okay, but it's it still. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just not trying to be arrested, but I have legal business that I need to go do in this okay, building, and I'm not. Okay. Alright, well, I'll make sure I call one of these. Alright. Have a nice night. I'll try. Yeah, I need the supervisor of Lieutenant Chadwick to come out here and speak to me, please. I'm standing out here on the sidewalk. Or I need a different lieutenant to come out here and speak to me, please. Okay. Are you aware, sir? I'm out here on the sidewalk by the gate that lifts up and down and they come in there. I'm out here on the public property sidewalk, sir. Okay. Yep. We're going to get to the bottom of this shit real quick. Or somebody's going to get fucking educated today. Yup, you got that right, Terry. Someone will get educated today in the form of an arrest and a conviction. Who is this? Um, I'm actually going to need a lieutenant because Lieutenant Chadwick is the one who's infringing upon my rights right now. So that's. There's nobody else who's a lieutenant there at all? There's... All right, well, you want to come out here and have a conversation with me like a normal person? And have a civilized conversation? I'm out here on, I'm out here on public property. Well, I don't want to sit here and stand on the phone, but I'd like to have a conversation about the fact that I was just threatened to be arrested on public property. I was just threatened. Yeah, yeah, you have a shift to run, and I'm a private citizen asking for some help. Okay, again. Well, sir, I would love to come into that public lobby and have the conversation with you, but unfortunately I can't because I was just threatened to be... A I was threatened to be arrested on public property, sir. That is public property. Just because it's state property, that lobby, that lobby is open to the public. That lobby is, uh, sir. Why are you hanging up on me? Oh! 
Yeah, uh, I'm trying to ask for reasonable, articulable suspicion of why it is I'm being trespassed on public property without committing a crime and I keep getting hung up on. Can somebody answer a question? I, I, I'm, my name is Good Citizen, sir. My name is Good Citizen. Okay. Uh, and what is the issue? Uh, my issue is that I was just in the public lobby of your police department and I was threatened under arrest to be trespassed on public property even though they can't articulate a crime that they suspect me of committing. Now, Title 18, Section 242 says I cannot be trespass from public property unless I'm suspected of committing a crime. I ask what crime I'm suspected of committing and I get told to get the hell off property I'm going to get arrested and they pull their handcuffs out and try to use intimidation tactics. Sir, that's not right. They try to say you don't have any legal business. I have legal business. Yeah, I'll hold for a minute, but I need someone who's not Lieutenant Chadwick to come out here and deal with the situation. I requested someone to come out here and speak to me, sir. I'm requesting an officer to come and make contact and speak with me, sir. Imagine if you're just walking by and you see this situation. I would think it's like a man-child having a little tantrum on the corner of the street. It would be pathetic, honestly. And that's what his entire existence is. It's just a perpetual temper tantrum. He never stops whining, crying, and playing the victim. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, no, there's no... Yeah, no, I, I, I want to file my complaint the same way every other private citizen does in the public lobby of this police department. You don't have the right to trespass me from public property unless I committed a crime. Again, I, I, have, I have the form out here that's already filled out to turn in. Captain Labs and Lieutenant Donaldson already gave me the form. So again, I have legal business in that public lobby of this police department. I've already been given permission from both of them to film. Yeah, they, they, yeah they're going to say they're not available, but you need to call them because this is going to be a huge issue. And I'm not getting arrested for being in the public lobby. You guys are going to get another a lawsuit filed, sir. And I'm not trying to do all of this. I'm just trying to do the same thing that every other private citizen can. Is this? Yeah, can you come out here and explain to me how it is you can trespass me from public property in that public lobby when I give him permission to film in there? I also have legal business, sir, so you can't just sit here and tell me. Amen. Sir, that's fine. You can record all you want, sir. That's fine. I'm also recording on my camera out here. Sir, I do have legal business in there, sir. Sir, sir, sir I have a complaint form. Sir, I have a complaint form that was given to me by Captain Labs and Lieutenant Donaldson that I have to turn in. So, yeah, I do have legal business here, sir. Second off, I don't have... Yeah, I have it right here in my folder, and I was trying to tell you that, but you sat there and acted like a jackass and pulled your cuffs out. Yeah, no, that's not how it works, sir. I get to come into that public lobby like every other person private citizen does just because you don't want me there or you don't like me doesn't mean you get to deny me the right to public services sir you can't sit here and tell me sir it's not your job to decide if I have legal business sir that's a public lobby that's a public lobby do you do you have can you explain sir can you no I'm not sir no I'm not you're a public servant sir you're a public servant sir no, I'm not disrupting anything, sir. I'm trying to get help. I'm trying to get the same help that every other private citizen can, and you're denying me of that, sir. No, you're not. No, you're not. I have complaint forms to turn in, and you are sitting here denying me access to the public lobby, sir. You can't just sit here and threaten to bring charges upon me. Sir, if you want to bring charges for me calling and asking for public services, then you do what you got to do. But I'll keep calling down there, okay? So this is how he's going to get himself in trouble. He keeps harassing them with these pointless phone calls when he's obviously been trespassed. He had no legal business there. So now it's time to leave or to get arrested. And we all know what Taco Terry is going to choose. Hi, yeah. Can I have an officer over here to 29 St. John's Drive to uh, dispute, um, I guess, a, 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 or handle a property dispute on what is public property and what's considered not? St. John's, St. John's, right down here, right down here in downtown, like right off of Calvert Street. But 
yeah, I was told that I'm not allowed on the police department property, which is fine, but when I go on public property, I don't want them coming out here and harassing me. So there seems to be some dispute about... Okay. Why, why is someone on the other line get precedent over me? Uh, the police department. I'm trying to walk on a public sidewalk out here, and I'm being denied access to this public sidewalk. That's city property. The the property that the the property. N n no, no, I'm not. I'm arguing with the DGS Capitol Police is my issue. But I'm on city property, and there seems to be some sort of uh, like discrepancies about that, or there seems to be some sort of uneducation about what is city property and what's not. So, can you send someone out here to confirm that this is city property? I'm sorry. My name is Good Citizen. You can call me John. Uh, gray vans, blue jeans, and a orange and lime green polo jacket I'm holding a GoPro standing out here on the street with an accordion file folder I'm wearing glasses and a backwards hat chewing bubble gum bye bye Hi, can I have the voicemail of Captain Labs, please? I I can't get the voicemail of Captain Labs. I I can't be transferred to the voicemail. Captain Labs is not here. Her voicemail is full. Oh. Okay. So how is someone supposed to leave a message for a public servant? Captain Labs, I'm, I'm going to tell you one more. Voice no, time. I heard you. You said she's Captain not there, Labs and her voicemail is full. Is full. So I'm asking you, so I'm asking you, how is it that I'm supposed to leave a message, ma'am? Like, like me? So how is it that I leave a message for her then, ma'am? Okay, well you have to be able to leave them a message somehow, whether it's written, whether it's written or... Okay, that's fine. That's all you had to say, ma'am. Why are you being rude to me? I'm not, I'm not being rude to you, ma'am. I didn't call up here and be rude to you. I wasn't rude to anybody. I just asked you to pass a message along for me. Like, I don't understand what the issue here is. Why do you act like that towards people, man? I'm asking to pass a message along to a public servant. They have a voicemail for a reason. If it's full, then you take a message and you pass it on. You can't tell me that I can't leave a message for her. The fuck? You can't deny me that. So it looks like the department is getting tired of these harassing phone calls and now they are about to do something about it. Check this out. Oh, here, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, sir, don't touch me. Why are you touching me, sir? Why are you touching me? For what? Why am I being arrested, sir? Sir, can you tell me why am I being arrested out here on public property? Get the fuck off of me, yo! No! Get off of me! I'm on public property out here! Get off of me! Yo, I'm being arrested on public property, yo! Get the fucking police, dude! Get the fuck off of me, yo! No! Get the fuck off of me! What did I do wrong? What crime have I committed, sir? Please tell me. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. Get off of me. What crime did I commit? I got on your property. I left your property. It's not foam, it's you. I'm 
like I said, I have no idea how this video slipped through the cracks. It's absolutely awesome. It looks like he was taken to the ground as he was getting arrested. And as we all know, it was a legal, lawful arrest because he was found guilty of these crimes. He was convicted. So he can't even say like, oh, I was illegally arrested. No, dude, you were legally arrested and you were convicted. So you need to hold that L and do your sentence like a man. With that being said, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you will also enjoy my other channel, Josh Prime. On that channel, I cover drunk drivers, idiots, Karens, all sorts of criminals. So I'll see you there. The link is in the description. Brothers. I live here! Just hold that L and take your sentence. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks so much for...